All right. Next up will be our supervisor from District 6, Supervisor Lee. Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to congratulate uh, all of the honorees for all your work and also thank uh, my former colleague, uh, Director Emily Rossi, and Pete as well, um, for all of the work for you today. Um, today I have the privilege of uh, honoring an amazing, powerful organizer, uh, educator, uh, and leader um, in our community. Justice, and it's one that I know that you brought attention to and you fought against. 
and uh, not just for people who are formerly incarcerated, uh, but for all of the folks in our community who often feel like they don't have a voice, uh, who may be unsure whether they should show up and vote at all. Um, you've been a model and a leader and a shining light for us, for all of us. I see that every day, and I certainly I thought about good honor on election day. Um, you were absolutely the first person that came to mind. So thank you, Wendy. So happy to honor you today. Thank you for all. And I appreciate that. This is giving um, education to folks that are, want to vote, but they don't know how to vote. Just come on down to 290 Turk and see me, and I'll help you out. <laughs> yeah. Um, as it, you were speaking, I was thinking about the struggle. Who in the world would have thought a person from a small town in Oklahoma, population 400, would be here today being honored in San Francisco? Yeah. <laughs> Because you know the Beverly Hillbillies, they say it was the place to be. So <laughs> they moved me here. And I ended up being incarcerated for a certain life sentence. And I served 18 years off that 15 to life sentence. And every day in that institution, I kept saying, when I get out, I am going to help somebody empower their own lives, not just to vote or to be who you were supposed to be when you wanted your dream job, your dream anything. And look at me. I'm here today to say I spent 18 years in prison and I am in the tenderloin every single day trying to bring empowerment to people to only not just vote, to be themselves. And those folks, the women that are outside sleeping and are unhoused, Come on into 290 Tech. We got some fresh water with some lemon and some uh, cucumbers. Just come and have a seat and have some respite off the street. Because not only was I there, I was homeless, I used to use drugs, and all of the above. But right now, I am truly honored and thank you, Matt. I want to say just a PSA. When you called me on Friday, I thought you missed Walk for Wendy. That's why you were calling me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to say to a bigger, better thing. So thank you so much, Matt.